Mammalian organogenesis is an astonishing process. Within a short window, the cells of the three germ layers transform into an embryo. In our current study, we investigated how different cell types emerge during mouse organogenesis using a method called single-cell combinatorial indexing. First, we isolate the cells of individual embryos at five time points of mouse development and distribute them to different wells of a microtiter plate. We also extract, fix, and permeabilize the nuclei of each embryo such that enzymes can move in and out of the intact nuclei. cDNA is synthesized and a molecular barcode is introduced. The first molecular barcode identifies the embryo that each nucleus came from. We then pool and mix all of the nuclei and randomly distribute them to wells of a new microtiter plate, where the cDNA molecules receive a second barcode. We pool and mix the nuclei again and randomly distribute them to yet another microtiter plate, where the molecules receive a third barcode during PCR amplification. Because each nucleus traverses a unique combination of three wells, its molecules are tagged with a unique combination of three barcodes. Over 10 billion RNA-derived molecules, each bearing three barcodes and derived from 2 million single cells, are subjected to massively parallel DNA sequencing. The sequence reads are computationally grouped with unique combinations of the three barcodes identifying groups of reads that came from the same cell. Patterns of gene expression are used to identify hundreds of cell types, essentially digital representations of the molecular composition of each of the two million single cells. We know which embryo each cell came from. We can also order cells of each type in developmental time, creating digital representations of how each cell type develops and its gene expression changes during mammalian organogenesis. Thanks for watching. Please see the manuscript and website for more details.